Hello, this is Tyler White. Today I'm going to talk to you about an alternative source of nesting material. So stay tuned. Oftentimes we'll find ourselves in strange places where we don't have access to what we would normally consider our go-to for nesting material. I love the cambium layer of cottonwood. That's my go-to for nesting material. Around here I can find dead quake and aspen. That's a good secondary go-to for, for nesting material. But sometimes you can find yourself uh, in places like in an open plain. I know there's tons of those from Man, from Texas all the way up into uh, Alberta, British Columbia, they've got these big swaths of open area where there's just grass that may be damp. Um, and if you're, if you're in a place like this and you can find cow turds, buffalo turds, or anything like that, you can use this as an alternative source of nesting material. So there's a couple dry turds that we've got here, and let's, let's just think about this for just a second. Dry turd is just compressed, processed grass. Once the sun dries it up really well, it's just compressed grass. All the nutrients have been removed from it, but that gives us the ability to use this as a, a solid nesting material. So if I grab some of these cow nesting turds, what I want to be able to do is come up with an ember. This can either be done with Flint and steel, bow drill, hand drill. There's a number of mechanisms that you can use. I'm going to use some charred material, which is cotton in this case, with a flint and steel. That's going to give me my ember. You could bust a coal with a hand drill and put your ember on there. You could do it with um, a bow drill, whatever you want to use. But in this case, too, it's very compressed right now. What I want to do is to rough this up a bit. I'm just gonna scrape it a little bit and get some of that fine fuzz on there. Something that will grab a hold of the spark and turn it into flame when I blow on it. I kinda wanna go overboard. I know from experience that if I try to film it and I don't do it right by really doing a lot of fluff that it dies on me. So if we've got that on the bottom, let's get a little more on the top here. Now all I'm going to do is introduce a coal. In fact, I want to use this one as my bottom one because it will hold it. I'm going to introduce a coal here, get some of that nesting material on top of it, put a little cap on it, and we're going to blow it into flame. So now for my flint and steel, I'm going to split this in half so I've got a couple of top ones and a couple of bottom ones found this little piece of, I think it's quartz, when I was walking around earlier today. Tested it out, throws a good spark. Wow, really good spark. So I've got an ember that's growing inside of this cotton material. I'm going to add it right here to that top piece, some of that powder right there, and make kind of a turd sandwich, okay? Now as this cooks as it's doing right now, it's going to kind of dry out the material. Then all I should have to do is add just a little bit of oxygen to the process in order to bust the coal. Got a little breeze coming through. Help feed it. And I don't want to smother it. That wind is just perfect timing. I can keep blowing on it or I can just let the wind do the work for me. And if this starts to die down and I start to lose it, I can always add another piece of char cloth because I, I still have it open and waiting. 
I don't really need to, but I'll just show this as an example. When you start trying this for the first time, uh, trying to even do any kind of coal for the first time, it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of char material on hand to kind of assist. So close, it's just grabbing it, just not quite taking off. Oh uh, baby, there it is. Took a little longer, but I think I grabbed a little bit damp of turd. The point is, it still works. So we were able to take an ember from a cloth, which you can again get from hand drill, bow drill, that type of stuff. And with a little bit of patience and a little bit of drying action, we were able to bust a coal using just a turd. So next time you're looking for an alternative mechanism or an alternative something to bust a coal with, if you don't have really light fluffy char cloth, or I'm sorry, light fluffy cambium layer, whatever, be it juniper, cottonwood, whatever, you can use a turd. Hopefully this was valuable to you. I'm going to put this out, wash my hands. If it was valuable to you, Go leave some comments down below, ask questions if you have them. Uh, I'll try to monitor this, get down and reply to you. And go check out the other, the other videos we've got on this channel. Check out the other videos we've made. There's other instructors that are uh, super competent at what they do. Get my flame back. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go get some water and put this out. Smells like smoky turd. <laughs>